Well, the Ontario government will unveil their fall economic plan for the province later today. Finance Minister Peter Bethlen Falvey will present the mini budget, which the Ford government has said focuses on cutting red tape, creating jobs, and saving people time and money. Premier Doug Ford and his ministers have already previewed some plans which include building highways faster, a continuation of a cut to the gas tax and sending $200 checks to every Ontario taxpayer. Scott Reed, CTV political commentator, joins us now with more on today's fall economic statement. Before we talk about the bells and whistles, which I know you love to talk about, uh, is this a, an important statement or is this just kind of, uh, you know, zooming out, here's the, the, the wide picture of what we're looking to do, but we might might not get into all the nuts and bolts of everything. It's, it's important. Mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, it's a statement of the government's finances, so it'll give us insight as to where the deficit is and what it's looking like for next year. Next year being, as we all speculate, a critical year because it looks like that will now be an election year. The Ontario government wants to go to the polls. Um, I do question those who speak breathlessly about the political importance of today. It's important, but really, um, when we think about that next election, it's going to be the budget that they present just before they go to the polls that will matter most. So $200 rebate checks, you bet. People are going to love that. Lots of people are going to love it. But will they still be remembering those checks two months, 10 months, six months from now, whenever the next election is? I'm not as convinced. So today's important but it's not going to be as important as what's to come. Well, we hear a lot of uh, pundits, we hear a lot of critics talking about this $200 check, that the, you know maybe this is kind of a, a shiny object dangling a carrot that makes people excited. But uh, I heard you earlier today on John Moore, you're saying, no, that's not the big shiny things that uh, a provincial government will want to present to the people of Ontario prior to an election. So let's kind of fast forward a, a bit to, to maybe next year, Scott, and with a potential uh, election you know, on the horizon, what are some of the, the big nuggets of, of of, of juicy items that you think would actually kind of be presented that uh, could potentially, you know, you know, kickstart the election and, and get people in, in, in that headspace? Well, I would look at it this way. Look at it as bookends. So today is one bookend, and the budget that they're going to bring forward in the spring will be the other bookend, and that's the one that's going to take us into the election. So I do think you're going to see measures that will be similar. And you do two kinds of things. One, you do measures that tempt the voters that you want, that give them a reason to like you. And two, you take measures that insulate you against vulnerabilities that you have. So how does that play out? Well, I'm going to cut your tax. I'm going to give you a $200 rebate check. Why? Well, because inflation swelled our coffers in the past year, and that money's going to run out. So I'll do that as a rebate now, I'll give you some cash up front. Maybe I'll cut your taxes more across the board than in the budget in the months to come. But in addition, when you think about the issues that are problematic for the government, hospitals, health care, doctors, access to family doctors. So my guess is what you haven't seen previewed for today, but you will hear about some measures in health care, hospital construction, and then you'll hear a whole lot more about that in the spring. So they try to seal off the possibility that they could lose votes over those issues. Do you think there is an appetite uh, here in Ontario for uh, an earlier election? There never is. If you ask people, hey, do you want a politician to knock on your door and come bug you three times the next four weeks? The answer will be no, thanks. But will you be punished? And right now, the betting for the progressive conservatives here in Ontario is that they want to get to an election before Justin Trudeau gets tossed out or jumps out. That's the real key here. They want to run against Justin Trudeau. They want to run against his policies and his personality. So what's the timing for the next provincial election? What's the optimal timing from Doug Ford's point of view? Whenever he can still have Justin Trudeau and his unpopularity in Ottawa to run against. So expect to hear some anti-Ottawa rhetoric today in the fall statement, some anti-Trudeau rhetoric and they are building their calendar around Trudeau and his timetable. Scott Reed, CTV political commentator, always appreciate your time. Thanks again.